Sorry for headphone users. Now we're live. <laughs> Sorry for that <laughs> click. Just had to turn on my mixing board. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew on a Friday. Yep. Happy afternoon. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend. Uh, welcome to Zero Page, where we play new games on classic consoles. Uh, we're broadcasting from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and I am James, and I'm Tanya. And today we're going to play some unusual games. Um, some very small games. Very tiny, tiny, tiny games. It's pretty much as tiny as you can get. Mm. Um, they're classified as RAM games. Um, and we've played phew, one on the show before. Mm -hmm. Oh, hair. Eh. Cat. Yeah. Cat fluff. I blame you, yep. cat. They're coming. Uh, um, RAM games. Um, do you know what they are? Did I explain them to you? Uh, they're running off the RAM memory of the Atari? Yes, they yeah. can be completely loaded yeah. into the memory of the Atari 2600. Which is how big? Which is 128 bytes. Nice. <laughs> not not K. Bytes. Bytes. Yeah. You know, Commodore 64 at oh, 64K. Yeah. yeah. This is, you know, a thousand less. <laughs> this is 128 individual characters. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, and, uh, so that's a very small amount. Yes. And, yes. uh, it is usually used for, um, keeping information about the game, mm. like for the basics, like how many lives you have, what level you're on, um, where you are on the screen even, right? All the, all the information that changes during the game, what inventory you have, mm. you know, how many, uh, how many, I think I already said lives, but those, those basics. Mm -hmm. um, it also keeps track of other things that I will list off. And we're going to be playing, <laughs> I had to add more graphics to the, the system that I'm using today because I think we're playing the most games we've ever played on a show, which is eight games. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we can only play eight games because they're about this big. Yeah, and you can only fit eight <laughs> icons in, in oh, the that zero too. page. Oh, that too. I could I could squish more, but it wouldn't look Probably. very good. Yeah. Um. So hello, Ground Trooper and Arena Foot, the people who have talked already in the uh, chat yes. there. Hello. And um, if you haven't noticed, there's like little different icons in the chat. There's like stars and there's a little cheer symbol beside where you type your message. Um, it's because I have enough people that follow the channel now, channel now that I'm a, an affiliate. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't fully uh, figured that out. But that means you can um, contribute and to the channel. If you want to. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, yeah. You know, help us out if you want. Um and it's actually free to give money. And it's kind of weird that way. Mm -hmm. But if you're a um, subscriber, Amazon Prime subscriber, because Amazon owns Twitch, they give you like a free token every month to use on whatever channel that you want. And you can say, I want to help out this channel this month. And you can just press a button and it goes to that channel and doesn't cost you anything. Mm. Not even a little bit. And there's something called bits, which are like one cent each. And you can like throw bits at the channel. Mm. And there's something called cheers. I don't know if they're free, but there's a little like triangle icon. Yeah. You can try it out if it's free. If it's not, you don't have to press it. Yeah. <clears throat> but I am doing this channel out of the goodness of my heart, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars <laughs> for my <laughs> entertainment. And I just happen to be broadcasting it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Arena Foot and I were talking last night mm -hmm. and big plans are afoot. Nice. Um, we're not going to say anything just yet because there's a lot of organizing to do, but something very exciting, very, very exciting that involves everyone in the whole realm of Atari, Atari 2600 homebrew. homebrew. Nice. And it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're just organizing that. And hopefully we can talk about it in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. um, but until we get a couple things settled, can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very exciting, and I can't wait to uh, talk about it and get get uh, more excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, f I'm going to talk a little bit about RAM and the Atari 2600. 
So, uh, from Wikipedia, yeah, hush, hush, Arena Foot says. Uh, from <laughs> Wikipedia, the, it says the console only has 128 bytes of RAM uh, within a MOS technology riot chip for runtime data that includes the call stack and the state of the game world. And that's what I was saying, the state of the game world, lives, etc. Et and the call stack as well, which it keeps track of where you jump to within the program. Mm -hmm. So if, if you jump to a different part of the program, it can remember where you came from if you want to return again, sort of like subroutines. Mm. So if there's a, a routine that you call over and over again, and you don't want to just go to it, and then you have to keep something in memory to remember where to return to, it can do that automatically and just pushes um, that memory address onto a stack, which is part of the 128 bytes. Okay. And then when you return, it pops it off the stack and frees up a little piece of memory. Okay. Um, and the uh, Riot chip, the 6532 RAM I.O. timer, uh, was an integrated circuit made by Moss Technology, as well as second sources such as Rockwell. It incorporates 128 bytes of static RAM. So the RAM is in the chip itself. It's not a separate piece of RAM like we have nowadays mm. in computers. It's like right in, in the, the chip. chip that does multiple things. Okay. It's an all-in-one kind of like thing. Like in the, yeah, yeah. the processor. Yes. Yeah. Um, two bi-directional eight-put digital input-output ports and a programmable interval timer. Um, and a good thing to note, as opposed to machines, just about every other machine actually, other than the Atari 2600, it has no video RAM. So there is no, no RAM other than what's in the Riot chip. Okay. There's 128 bytes plus a little sprinkling of things here and there. So in a modern computer, your video card would have RAM? Yes. Okay. And that you, makes sense. And what you would do to draw on the screen on a modern system mm. is you would <clears throat> compute the screen up. You know, where's your character? Yeah. Where, you know, trees are or whatever the game you're playing. Write that to a frame a video frame and get it ready and send it to the video card and then every six say 60th of a second just like the Atari um, it would write that to the piece of RAM to the screen it yeah. would go up on the screen and then the computer would send another one and send another one every 60th of a second okay um, the Atari has no video RAM <laughs> okay so it instead of doing it at a frame Processor. Yes. Yeah. Straight from the process. Instead of doing a screen at a time, it does like pixels at a time. Mm. It's like, what do I draw next? What do I draw next? And okay. you have to keep feeding it as it draws the line across the screen. Gotcha. So it's in like thousandths of a second mm. that it's feeding over and over again. It's mm. it's insane. But it allows for crazy things that people are still working on today to be able to update that as fast as possible and to give you a pri uh, give you an idea of why they only put 128 uh, bytes of ram in the atari 2600 um because it came out in 1977 and they're developing it you know yeah. a couple years before that <laughs> yeah um, um this is from daryl spice jr's 2012 talk one kilobyte of ram in 1973 when they began working on it was 390 dollars mm -hmm. And that's in that's, that's in 1973 that's dollars. Pricey. Yeah. So they're like, well, we can't put a K. Yeah. And that's how much you would need for a video display, a, a decent <laughs> video display. Okay. I don't know. Divide a K up by X and Y. Yeah. And you'll figure out how much you would get. 640 by 480. Not even that. Not even that. You it would have to double it up into like four, which is what the Crazy. Atari uses. It's okay. too much. Yeah. Um. So 128 bytes is one eighth of that. Okay which works out to $50, $1973. Mm. So that makes much more sense in like a, a $200 machine, I think it was. I think it was 199 US dollars when it came out, 1977 dollars. So one quarter of the cost of the machine was RAM. Was RAM. Which is not very close to what we pay for RAM no. today. Oh God, so no. it was really <laughs> expensive. Yes. Yeah, so you can yeah. see why they minimize that as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's get to the first game. And all of these mm -hmm. are either two player games, which is good. Yeah. 
or they're kind of games where you're playing against yourself and there's the ai is like zero it's like well, totally there'd dumb. be no space for ai right no yeah. there's no chance it's like the simplest ai or none at all really mm. um so the first game we are going to play, I have a lot more to talk about um, with the Ram, but I'll <laughs> sprinkle it in so we can get to the games. Yes, let's play. <laughs> so the first one is Ram Combat. Um, do you remember Combat? Um, it was, it's the pack-in game with the 2600, two tanks, okay. opposite side of the screen. Yeah. You shoot, there's like a little maze and you run around the maze and You're shoot, trying to each, shoot other, each other. Shoot each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, didn't know that game. Yeah. So let's get the other... Uh, controller for you. Yeah, we'll get to those. Don't look at those yet. <laughs> those are fancy. Uh, yeah, they are fancy. <laughs> uh, so let's get up the first game on the screen. Oh, let's sort that mess out. One minute, second. There we go. So let's switch over. So let's go down to today, 7.20. Ram Combat. Uh, this was this version was released in 2009-06-16, so nine years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in a zip file. Is that gonna work? No. Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> or is it just load garbage? <sighs> oh, everybody's gonna have to bear with me. Please, one second. And uh, also. Mm -hmm. While we're waiting, you can take a look at that hilarious comic. Oh, the very cute cartoon. Uh, yeah, the little uh, comic strip up there, <laughs> which is completely inaccurate. That was covering your face. Um, can you tell me uh, why it's inaccurate? Yeah, zip file. That's yeah, not going to work. See, can you tell me why it's inaccurate? Are you asking me or are you yeah. asking the chat? Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> Why it's inaccurate? Yeah. Well, he does have say? memory. Yes. Yeah, so he just that's... doesn't have a lot of memory. <laughs> yes. So that, I don't know if they can hear me. So that's the joke. It's like, remember when we were the gaming systems to have? And uh, Nintendo NES says that. Yeah. Sega says, yep. Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. and, and the Atari 2600 says, I have no memory. And it's like, well... Yeah, you do have memory. Yeah. So it's fine for people who don't know much about it. Yes, but... but for people who do know... In relative terms, it really does have no memory compared to those other games. Relative In terms, In relative yeah. terms. So kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but not really. Aww, and it pops up over cute. and over again. People post that so many times and it drives me crazy every time. It's like, it does have memory. Just a very small, small amount of memory. <laughs> so, very silly. Okay, now I've got all of it unzipped. Sorry for that. I was rushing around at the last minute. And I forgot to even put these on the card. Oh, I forgot to even put them on the card. So that was the side effect of not having them ready, is that I didn't realize that they weren't unzipped. So let's pop that over. And we're going to combat. There we go. Woo! Look, a bin file. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So there is red and there is blue. And obviously it has not enough memory to even draw a tank. So they have to, so in the 128 bytes, they have to have the the game logic, mm -hmm. the graphics. That's impressive. <laughs> sound, if there's any sound. A lot of these don't have sound. Hi, highly unlikely there's sound. Highly unlikely because yeah. there's a lot more to do in there. Yeah. Um, the initial starting points of the game, you know, and it has to be able to, not only do that, but draw on the screen. It has to tell it everything to draw. It has no way to do it. I did unzip them all. Okay, so it looks like it's just up and down. I don't think there's any sound. Whoa. See, we can steer the bullets. What? Not intentionally. Yeah. Oh, you can. 
And there was a, um... Oh, you got me. Oh! And there was a, uh, uh, an option on the combat for steering the, the shots, which is a fun option. Unfortunately, I have to steer my shots and avoid yours. Ah! 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 Oh no! Ah! The the good thing is, it was very clever. Oh, this was. This is a really great game, actually. Yeah. Um, for the for its ah! simplicity, it actually has a bit of strategy. Because as I'm shooting you, if if I hit you, you get smaller. Uh, yeah. Which makes it harder to yeah. hit you. Yeah. It's quite it's quite a game actually. And I, and I get bigger, makes it easier for you to hit me, so it balances <laughs> out. Plus, it acts as a score. Ah! So that you know when it's end game, you don't need a, a score because, as well in the 2600, there's no, there's no font. So you have to write out all your letters and numbers. Um, so if it had to write out, you know, one, two, three, four for score, that'd be like most of its, most of its RAM taken up. Oh, oh, one more, I think. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. no, one more. Oh, I'm almost. Oh. I'm too skinny now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but I'm a big, huge target. Yeah. There is sound. Is good. Yeah, There's... there is a very, very minor amount of sound. Uh, oh, it's so hard to hit you now. I think all disputes, all disputes in life should be uh, <laughs> resolved through a game of combat. <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, my God. You have to get so close to each other to hit hit each other. Oh no! You do. Like you can't dodge and aim at the same time. It's it's oh. that's the di the difficult part of it. Oh come on! Oh, so close. One more, I think. No. Nope. No, there's two more shots. Two, it gets really thin. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's no uh, no detection for when you're off the screen. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so you can. Protect you can, yourself by... <laughs> yeah, it gets a little nuts when you're off the screen. It's only enough RAM for collision detection of uh, the bullets. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's so hard! <laughs> You're definitely beating me. Uh, it's been on my yeah. It's been on your on your side. It's been your your side for a while. It's like in tennis. It's like it's been <laughs> thirty love for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> Let go for the joystick for one second. Yeah, yeah. You definitely play this game until your hand hurts. <laughs> I'm already experiencing a bit of, uh, ooh. You can hold down the button. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, but I don't think that's necessarily the strategic way to do it. Not really, because the other person knows when the bullet's coming. Well, not that they don't know when it's coming. It, it's not very instantaneous. <laughs> Is this going to be a draw? I don't know. You might get me. My hands, my hands dying. You forgot to remove. I'm not gonna remove the card every time. <laughs> I did that last show. Um, it has a potential for damaging the cart and/or system. Oh, I think you're gonna get me. My hands. Um, yeah, that's something I forgot to add. That the the big wow factor for these games is that once they're loaded from the carts, you can remove the cart from the system.
because it's completely loaded into the RAM. So it doesn't need to uh, read from the cartridge. Ah! Oh, it wraps around. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to stay here. My hand hurts, so get okay. me. Get me. It's even hard to do that. Oh my god, it goes down to that? Ah, you got me. Good job. Can you still shoot? Oh, I can! Oh, that's totally unfair. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> so basically, it didn't. the game never actually ends. Which is good. Yeah. Because some of these games, when it's game over, you have to completely reload the game. So that's really good, actually, because the other ones are a little bit annoying in that respect. That's really cool. So you can get it back to equilibrium. Yeah. So you just kind of keep going. No ending. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. very, very, very cool. But I mean, like I said, all, all, um, all conflicts should end with a game of conflict, you know, whoever gets <laughs> yeah. to, to nothing. Combat. Uh -huh. I mean, actually, your hand gives out before the game does. My yeah. hand was starting to hurt so much by it's the end. It's just constant It's so movement. intense. Rawr. Yeah. So this was made by Wiki Columbus. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from 2009-06-16. He says, uh, I wanted to take a stab at making a RAM-based game. So I decided to, to do uh, combat. Right now, it's two-player. The tanks fire automatically. So that was changed. When you hit your opponent's tank, your tank gets larger and your opponents get smaller. There are, there are several bites free, <laughs> so let me know if you have suggestions. <clears throat> the tanks can only move vertically. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not sure if I can make the move horizontally in all, only 128 bites. So you can see it's very limiting. Very be simple. Because yeah. that means you have to yeah. keep track of two more things. Instead of just, just tra keeping track of it in one plane. Yeah, yeah. It, as well as the bullets. Right? Actually, he probably uses collision detection for that. But mm. um, So let's see if this is the earliest one. 2009-06-16, no. Some of the other ones are a little bit earlier than this game. Um, so, yes, very, I think that's a really good one. A uh, little it's hard. It's actually really on fun. The hand. Yeah. It is hard on the hand, but you, it, it's it, that's really fun. Mm -hmm. I really like that, and the fact that you disappear into nothing, <laughs> like you never actually the game never actually ends. You just become a completely disappeared, invisible character. Yes. If you get hit too many times, so that's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. And all these games seem to be released around two thousand nine, two thousand ten. So it's a big, a big kick. ram big, kick. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. got. You know, saw the first one and went, oh, I want to do that too. And yeah. it was like a challenge. Yeah. And I don't think, I couldn't find any more that came out after that. Yeah. Um, I think that was about it. Um, so we are on to game number two, which is Ra uh, Ram Frog Pond. That's a mouthful. Ram Frog, <laughs> Ram Frog Pond. Mm. Almost better than the original combat. Yeah, the... The system is, it is almost better. I mean, there's score in the original combat. It's yeah, just a really cool there's concept. There's something about ver it's, the, it's simplicity that's... Um... So this is a one-player game as far as All I right. know. So I'll let you go at it and I'll read about it. Um, this is made by Wiki Columbus as well. I'm grouping them by um, programmer. Uh, here's the start of a simple frog pond t type game. Did you ever play no. frog bog or frog no, pond? No, I have no idea what I'm doing here. So. You're a frog and you have to catch flies. Oh. And that's the fly at the top and you're the frog. Um, it says, I think this might be the final version. The score is now displayed in binary on the right edge of the screen. I don't see that, but you haven't gotten anything yet. After 30 to 40 seconds, the screen goes blank, displays the score, and waits until you press the fire button to continue. <clears throat> if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. One bite free. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> so, um, let me talk a little bit. Oh, did you get one? Mm -hmm. Oh, it does display. It's like a line. It's like a binary line, I'm guessing. Mm. So then it'll move over for two. Oh, no, it's just one. Okay. That's cool. Uh, okay. Mm, that looks binary. Now... There was a very interesting, oh, it is binary. It is binary. Okay. Interesting thread in Atari Age, and I may have touched on this 
thread before. Um, it was titled Using Overscan to Store Data. And they were talking about how much memory the Atari 2600 has. And they were already like, okay, it has 128 bytes. We are, all know that. But is there any way to squeeze even more memory out of the 2600? And people came up with very, very creative ways to get more memory out of the 2600. Almost unusable. Some of them are usable, but most of them are ridiculous and would actually kind of destroy the game. So Thomas Yentz um, listed a whole bunch of them and he was able to squeeze out 137 bits more. Not bytes, bits, little bits, which is um, how many bytes? Um, like almost 20. Uh, so he's 20 bits for the play field which is repeated on both sides, but you can store things there. Uh, two by two by eight, um, 32 bits from GR, P0, and P1. Um, so that's uh, player zero and player one, uh, which draws the graphics. Uh, two by two uh, equals four bits from uh, missile zero and one. It says including shadow registers. Two times one bit, two times one for two bits for the ball, uh, including shadow registers. Five times four, 20 bits from the HM registers. Uh, five times 7.x, approximately 37 bits from object positions. Uh, four bits from the uh, CTRL uh, PF. Um, he says, I don't think it's possible to check the score bit. 2 times 5 equals 10 bits from the new size 0 and 1. 2 bits from RESP M0 and 1. 2 bits from REFP 0 and 1. Maybe 1 bit from the V-Sync. Maybe 3 bits from the V-Blank. Uh, 137 bits in total. Minus the bits required for the object to check collisions. Uh, BL. So maybe 125 bits or 15x bytes. Uh, Arena Foot says line equals the score. Has it reset or is it still counting up I think in the it's binary? It's still counting. Well, you're getting better at it, eh? Well, you just figure out <laughs> exactly. at what point it needs to be at, and oh. then you can time it up. Depending on where you are relative yeah. to it. Like if you can figure out visually what point of the screen the, the line needs to be when you start moving. I guess you could say... I'm, I'm kind of crap at this, but you, it's quite easy to game <laughs> because uh, it, you, just, you just need to kind of visually figure out the point at which the, the line needs to start. Like you need to start pushing on the button. You can move left, right? Left and right. Can you? Can you? Try move. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize you can move left and right. So you could position yourself so when it hits the right edge of the screen, you press the button. No, well, yeah, right? yeah, you probably could. <clears throat> then Omega Matrix add, you should include what's available outside of the TIA. Off the top of my head, proper uh, with the proper setting and kernel implementation, these all should be available. Stack pointer, one byte. Mm. INTIM, one byte. TIM, INT, one bit. Status register, four useful bits, interrupt flag, overflow flag, decimal mode, and carry flag. The SWCHB, three unused bits, D5, D4, D2, and the upper three bits of the high address program counter. Then Azure added, the difficulty and black and white switches could be used for three bits of memory storage input by the player. All the switches on the external of the uh, 2600. Then I added to that conversation saying, if you're counting switches as memory, you could even count the joystick direction and buttons or the other controller in port two as even more controlled input, user controlled input memory storage. So if these were like switches, you could permanently have them on like the joystick button up, down, left, right. Or if you have other um, controller inputs, you could have those stored as well. You could tie elastic band and keep it in the up position. 
And then Nuki, say, Nuki Shea concluded, true, both A and B ports can be reconfigured as the user wants. Eight bits in each one. The stack pointer is another byte. The T1024T can be used as temporary storage of another byte if your program is quick about it. And then he said, none of it really matters though, since the cartridge can just include its own RAM memory scheme, up to two kilobytes without banking. So going, to co going into coprocessor territory, it becomes pretty much unlimited. So that was an exercise in futility of trying to squeeze all the rest of it out of the 2600. But if you're going to make a game, you would have to destroy all those things because <laughs> you have to use most most of them. See if you figured it out. Let me let me play. So you're still racking up the score? Oh yeah, look at it. Look at those barcodes at the side of the screen. Oh, it must have reset. Or is oh. it just filled in? Oh, it is yeah. filled in. So you figured out. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yeah yeah. It's better to play with it. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So very simple. Like. No, it's the the advanced one has two frogs and multiple flies going and yeah. it goes and, and nighttime. Be different. Yeah. There's lily pads where you can fall off of them mm -hmm. into the water and you have mm -hmm. to swim back. There's actually a really fun relaxing game, mm. the frog bog mm. games. There's little crickets in the background for Do you remember sound. a game with with the frog tongue? Was that an NES game? Where you you're no, that, just that was that was uh, an Atari was and an television game and it had the tongue like you could jump and then you stuck out your tongue to get the fly. But I remember one where the frog's just static and the tongue is going out. Mm, I don't remember that one. I, d I, I just have a vague recollection of that. Um, There's a, I want to say it was on the NES because that was the main system I had simple. when I was young. But seems too simple for an NES game. Is that all there was to it? Or could be a mini could game, but I Commodore can't. Commodore 64. Most likely Commodore 64. I, 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 just, it was, I, I just have this vague memory of playing a game with with fly catching <laughs> sounds like a simple game for it does the C64. sound like a c64 game um and there's uh there's a subreddit called tip of my joystick <laughs> where people people are like i can't remember what this game what this is. game is and I'll they try have and to go on the they subreddit. try and describe it as much as they can as like i think it was on the on this system or that system and like you would say, oh, there's a frog, and you stuck out your tongue. And you were catching flies, and the whole point of the game was to catch as many flies as possible. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. What are we doing so next? So let's go down to 720 while I switch the graphics. It is Ram Helicopter. And I think this might be a single player. We'll see. Ben? Yep. Press the button. Oh, is this not going to cooperate? This may not cooperate. It's too flickery. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, in this game, I did play this one briefly. Yeah, you have to load the whole thing over again. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and it's flickery. Yeah, we this may, not, may, not, may not work. This may not work. Do you want me to reset something? Yes, or? please. Just turn it off and on. Which one? Left one. All the way to left. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. So we'll see. Uh, some of these are not, you know, it's hard to program these <laughs> to be perfect output displays. So you have to avoid and dead and dead because it flickered. Wow. Anyway, once it comes back, I'll explain what the well, game it's is. It's coming up there, oh. just not on our own screen. Oh, oh is... I may be able to cut, rescue it. Maybe. Oh, no, that's it for me. <laughs> I, it came back for a second. And that's so funny. Sorry about that. But <laughs> Not the greatest. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's... It's colorful, though. It is. But it's like those... Um, everybody's played this game before. You're in a cave. Mm. You have to avoid the walls. And sometimes you're a helicopter. And sometimes there's block things. And you have to mm. press the button to go up and down. Mm. Or Flappy Bird, that kind of game yeah, yeah, where yeah. you're flying through things. But this is this is things are moving in a pattern. Yeah, and, and it's yeah. it is actually a really hard game um, when you can play it. Mm. But that's that's the game. <laughs> you can't really play it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's it's okay. it's flickering the display too much and, and yeah. cutting it in and out. Mm. Yeah. 
Um, but it's uh, it's it's actually a very complicated game yeah. for 128 bytes. Well, it looks it. It just unfortunately having to reset it every time. Is... Yeah. It's not going to cut it. So oh, we can't really play that one, which is sad. So the next one is Ram Eraser. I thought you said eraser when you said Ram that. Ram eraser. I'm like, are you erasing things? On the oh, this is cute. Uh, eh, 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 eh. Okay, dead. Okay, I we'll have to reset it, unfortunately. Yeah, because it has... Oh, you have to hold down the B button. When I do that, hold it down. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Okay, go down now. You have to let go. Oh, nope. Okay, hold down the B button. Okay. There you go. Why do you have to hold down the B button? Um, because otherwise uh, this cartridge thinks that, that is a paddle. Oh, okay, don't geez. die because, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. And that's it. So let me just talk about the last game. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ram Helicopter. This is all, that was also by Wiki Columbus. I hadn't done, done much 2600 programming lately, so I thought I would refresh myself with a new RAM game. It is based on the popular online game called Helicopter. You must navigate through a cave, avoiding obstacles. Each Every time you hit an obstacle, your helicopter changes colors. After several hits, your helicopter will get destroyed. There are currently two bytes free. Let me know if you have comments or suggestions. Mm -hmm. My comment or suggestion, eight years too late is somehow to reset the game <laughs> without having to reload the game. And this one is Ram Racer, and this is by V-Dub Bobby. More Ram Madness. This uh, was 2009 05, 13. Oh, this is actually his... Yeah, okay. This is not the first game. Oh my gosh, I do it every Who made time? the first game out of this? It's hard to say because this is these are the release dates. Did you die already? Yeah, I just keep immediately going <laughs> to the side I shouldn't go. Oh, okay. Ram Racer, an endless race dodging moving roadblocks, squares along an endless highway. Oh. Ah! Can you move forward or have uh, just side to side? Just side to side. Yeah, just side to side. No, you have to reset it. Oh jeez. This has been tested on a 7800 with a CC2 and it works fine. Uh, emulators are a little bit wonky, but still work fine. Incidentally, I discovered whilst doing this that neither the Z26 nor Stella correctly detect off-screen collisions. Anyway, left and right to steer, trigger to put on the gas, if you wanted to go faster. Sorry, no sound nor score. No, terrible. Okay. Terrible. You, you reset. You and I'll see if I can stay alive for more than two seconds. You probably can. I just just don't go to the right. Yeah. See, it smooshes you. Into... So I'm gonna go for the center every time. Yeah. Don't okay, move to the edges. Again. The edges kill you. <laughs> You'll get squished and stuck. Yeah. Okay. Going for the center. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. If that's it. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Brutal. Brutal hard game. I wish these had resets or like a continue. Yeah. Somehow like the combat did. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah. But uh, that one's a very hard game too. Like the helicopter one. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to last. For <laughs> no. Very hard. And done. And done. <laughs> uh, so this one, uh, next one is also by V-Dub Bobby. This mm -hmm. is called Ram Defender. If you want to reset. time i did okay and have you ever played defender that sounds the familiar game. what's the game um the original defender is your ship flying above a city there's invaders coming down mm. they're stealing your little people up you shoot the ship oh you sort catch, of, the, catch yeah. the person drop the person to the ground that's the basics yeah, of it yeah yeah I, uh, racer was... is difficult arena foot yes so let's see. <laughs> ah. And dead. Already? <laughs> yes. See, this is the problem. It's the problem with RAM games. 
you don't get much of a shot. Okay, so you're the... You can shoot. And you are the pink thing. You can move up, down, left, right. And just like... And dead. And just like Defender, when you move, they kind of move with, with you. you. Which was always the really difficult part of Defender. Like, you can never really get away from the bad guys. Mm. They, they are always a little bit following you. Mm. So hold it down. I killed a couple of them. And, uh... Oh, oh this up one? at the top. Yep. And if you notice, your character is in dead. That was it? Yep. One hit? Yep. I'm not playing this again. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, reset it? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Not happening. No. And if you notice um, your character, um, the... Yeah, that arena for Defender is a hard one, too. Yeah. Yes, it is. No, <laughs> it's um, okay. Look at the desi design of your character. Mm. They were able to make some graphics with it. Um, and if you notice what the pattern is, it's a binary pattern. It's mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotcha. As it goes down. Mm. So it looks like something without having to use any memory to store mm. what the character looks like. That's very, very, very clever. And dead. And dead. <laughs> it's really hard. Wow. There's no score. No. So you can't it's even. It's just you're alive or you have you're to dead. Keep in your mind. How how long you've been on the screen? <laughs> yeah, a little timer, a stopwatch, yeah, or funny. count how many things you've killed, and but it's got the very very basics of Defender. Mm. It's got the movement of it, where you move and they follow you a bit. Yeah. It's too bad you can't reset with the fire button. No. Like that would be perfect because everything's still on the you screen. Can't do that. <laughs> yep, it is a hard one too. Let's see what they say about Defender. Uh, by VW Bobby. Uh, this more ramness. This is supposed to be Ram Defender, but well, some things had to be left in the cutting room floor, <laughs> like the things you're defending. <laughs> Ponder. Anyway, have fun piloting your red block and shooting the blue blocks. So it looks like he upgraded the the red block a little bit. Yes. Which was uh, very smart. And you can see it, it kind of starts, yep. uh, like, yeah, one, two, three. I, the pattern's a little bit. Two, four, eight, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now we're moving on to games that are two player again. So we don't die instantly. Nice. And Ooh. they'll be using something we haven't used on the show before, which is exciting. Let's switch over to the big camera. And these use keyboard controllers. I'm going to hold those up to the camera. And uh, these are very interesting. They, I can't remember what they were actually originally used for, but they have 12 buttons each on them. It does plug into two ports, so 12 buttons for each port. Mm -hmm. And if you think on a joystick, well, the joystick only has um, four directions and a button. So really five inputs, right? Yeah. Um, but those can be used in combination. You can press up, down, left, right, or button, right? But you can also press up, left, up right, yes. down right, yeah. down left. So you have eight. And then up left button, up right button, mm. down right button, down left button, and that's 12. Right? Did I get to 12 yet? Mm -hmm. No. You got four directions. Plus four directions plus four more plus four plus the button. Yeah. So, so that's 13. 13. Mm -hmm. So you have we've 13. actually exceeded... No, this. 13, right? No, 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 four by three, 12. Oh, I see what you're so saying. So there's even one left over. Because there's a button alone without a button and, and, a, and a... Right? You have four directions. You have the button in four locations. You have the four extra diagonal locations. Yeah. And you have the button alone. For basic programming. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay. Because so if you have one, doubles... One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 12, 12, plus the button alone. 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, if that is, if that is an input. Yeah. And then the button alone. 17. Yeah. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to count that again. <laughs> 5, 6, 7, seven 8. 8. Times 2. So yeah, 16, times 2. 16, 17. 17. Right. The button alone. Yeah. And then there's impossible inputs as well. Up, down, and left, right at the same time. Yes. Because those are independent buttons. Yeah, but so they're not usually pressed 19. together. 19. No, not usually pressed well, together. Well, so you're saying you can have two inputs for every direction? No. Because that, that greatly increases not... your, your combination. Oh, and the button, too. So that's another But you two. could do up, down, side, side, but you could do diagonal up. You could do, do you know what I'm saying? If, oh, you, if you can actually, if you can yes. double up all of them. That's true. I'm sure you could easily come up with a... a well, if you just think it's five bits. Some algebraic equation to it's, calculate it's, all that. But. It's just binary. So essentially boils down to five bits. One, two, three, four, five. And um, two to the power of five is 32. So you have 32 combinations total of the five but that doesn't include the diagonals yeah includes every combination are the diagonals are the diagonals a combination of those two buttons yeah okay yeah so then, then so that's essentially you can different. press all four at once too that's one of okay, the 32 so that's, combinations that's, you're, you're getting way out there like <laughs> that that if you can press all buttons at the same time as a single input then yeah. then that's technically you could yeah but would it would it recognize it as a single input? It may not. It may just go, you're yeah. crazy. <laughs> it's like shift. Do you know what I mean? If the if the right. B button is like a shift, then it can modify all the other buttons. But I don't know. You may have to lean in. Lean in. Oh, how am I going to? Oh, I know how to select. Okay. Okay, so the next game... Quit your yeah. yawning. I think I need another glass. <laughs> bad, you can explain bad. the next game. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. It the is Friday, by the way. It is Friday. <laughs> Time to catch up on sleep. <laughs> the next two games are by Zach, and they both use the keyboard controller. Uh, the first one is called Tic-Tac-Toe, and as you can imagine, it's Tic-Tac-Toe. Um, he says, uh, this one was programmed in 2009-05-10. It's not much, but it's enough to join the club. It's a two-player game using uh, keypad controllers. You can reset, use reset to clear the board. Uh, to launch Stella so that it emulates keypad input, use Stella-BC keyboard RAM tic-tac-toe. Um, but we're not using Stella. I was hoping to fit in some logic to automatically check for three in a row, but that won't happen for a while, if ever. I got sound working and changed the colors. So now there are eight bytes to spare, but I'm not sure what to do with them. The most compact code I've come up with for checking three in a row is over 40 bytes. So that's not happening. <laughs> and he only had eight bytes to spare. Uh, so let's use... Oh, why does it do this? <laughs> Oh, I think there's something wrong with my system. It doesn't let me use the system anymore to select things. I'm going to have to plug in a joystick and then switch out, mm. which is unfortunate. I don't like doing that. Hopefully it'll be okay, though. Uh -huh. That's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm going to plug in a joystick temporarily. And select tic-tac-toe. What is happening? There we go. not destroy anything. People with more knowledge than me can... Here you go. 
let me know if I it's possible to destroy things by unplugging joysticks. So is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? That is what I am guessing. And I don't know if it uses just one, which I would assume it would use two for the two players yeah. of tic-tac-toe. And you would input which square you want to go in. It at could what be time. you pass the controller back and forth too, but it we'll could see. be to save, you know, no, because it would input. have different colors. So we'd have to know. No, because it would be X then O turns. and then X then O. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I will let you go first, which means I oh. cannot win. <laughs> well, if, if, if I'm, I'm foolish. I am foolish. I haven't played tic tac toe in a while, so. And I can't remember the exact. Oh, no, it is not. What the hell? I just pressed five and it's in the bottom. Five is in the bottom? Yep. Oh, weird. That was two, but five. Three is normal. One, two, three is normal. Okay. What did oh, you press? Oh, four is the bottom. Weird. Okay. So I'm guessing seven? Six would give the bottom corner. Yeah, but I don't. Want to no, go there. no, but just we'll we'll figure out. Nope. No. Six. Don't try six. Oh. Oh my God! What that, is happening? That was nine. That's I would expect. So one, that. two, three, seven, eight, nine is. Seven, eight, nine. Is normal, right? No, because that was four and five, nine. Four, five, nine. Four, five, nine. Yeah. So seven. Hit seven. No. Nope. Eight. Nothing. Bottom two. Nothing. 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 What? Is happening. Okay, so this is not the appropriate controller. <laughs> it said keyboard controller. Oh. What was that? Two? Yeah. One. What? Okay, it's not what? working properly. <laughs> what? Okay. You try. I'm going to do one. Okay. Now I'm going to do one. And I, I'm going to do one? No. No. Four. Okay, I'll do two. Do I know two. that's the top. I'll do two. Okay. Do two? No. no. But four works. No. Or a five. Five. Yeah. So if I do three, I have one. <laughs> Six. Nine. So something is missed. <laughs> Something's not working Something's in the programming. Something's a bit funky there. Yeah. So, uh, restart it. Okay. I'm going to try four is the bottom. Okay, so that's consistent. That's right? consistent. Six is, this is, yeah, not correct. Five. It's it's four and five are not in the same, in the correct position. And then, so if you press one, you get the top, and you press one again, you get one below. <laughs> yes. But you can't. You can't pick the middle one. No, directly. That's not right. Yeah, so something's a little off there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. But it does take turns. Ha ha! I won. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! I'm going to win again. Ah. No, 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 that's really weird. So you can't pick the left two. It's one and two should be, should the middle two should be four and five, but they're not. Yeah. It's not doing that properly. It, it It's one and two again. You can only do it if you do one first and then two. How did you get that middle one? Uh, that's a good question. See, that's five. Try eight. Two. So two puts it above. That's weird. What? And if I press two again, mm -hmm. and if I <laughs> it press goes above. Four. I press four. No. Nothing. I press seven. No. Press one. See, yeah. one sometimes goes to the top and one sometimes goes to the middle, mm -hmm. depending on what, when it was pressed. Mm -hmm. So things aren't quite right with this. Mm -hmm. So it's very, so you can't actually so go where you want. One and two are kind of messed up. What should yeah. be four and five is one and two twice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very strange. Um, These are cool. They are. So, are these original? Oh, yeah, yeah. To the yeah. Atari? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, these are... See the font? <laughs> yeah, they don't say Atari on them anywhere, but these... And they click together, too. Yeah. I, I like it. You so know you what? use it as a huge gamepad. You know what? Gamepad. Now I know where Nintendo got it from. Look at that. The Nintendo Switch ah, controllers. Ah, see? A see? Atari did it first. See? Yeah. 
What did they yeah. those click? What is in there? They do kind of click in. Yeah, but... I mean, I, I haven't played with them too much. We don't have a switch, but no. But uh, yeah, no, I, I I see there should be some click. copyright uh, oh. infringement there between Atari and uh, don't the give Nintendo the switch. don't give the shell of a company called Atari any ideas. <laughs> Because they will try, I'm sure. Oh, I didn't put up the little screen for it. Worked all, worked hard for that. There you go. Ram tic-tac-toe. So we're going to switch to the second to last game, which mm -hmm. also uses the keyboard controllers. So we'll find out if maybe, well, see if those are broken. I've never used them before. I don't think they're broken. No. That wouldn't make sense. Well, four and five never worked. No, but you hit one and two twice. Yeah, that and shouldn't that happen. did work. So that shouldn't happen. So yeah. so uh, by, you know, process of elimination, I think the keyboard controller is fine. I think the game is interpreting the input a little, a little improperly. Wonky. So so let's plug in the joystick and get the game going. And this one is called Sliding Puzzle. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's just one player. Let me get the graphic up. And it's very colorful. Oops. Ah, mm. and this has 12 to match the number on the keypad. go let me read about this one so this one is also programmed by Zach I found it might be the second one are you moving things no nope. cats are going crazy out there the cats have lost it I found a better use of my tic-tac-toe kernel and this time it's a one-player game Again, it uses the keyboard controller, but this time you use all 12 buttons. The game is one of those classic puzzle games where you slide the tiles in a particular order. Once I finish all the optimization I can do, I will post the source code. You can see what ideas you have. I'm also working on a version that uses the joystick instead of the keyboard. I like the interface better, but the joystick logic takes up space. Is the joystick, is this possibly the joystick version? Because nothing has happened. Possibly. And I'm just just smacking the buttons on the keyboard yeah. controller right Don't now. Don't smack them. No, they are, they're very satisfying clicks. They do, they have a nice click. I, I really do like them. They remind me of... Can you hear that? Yeah. They remind me... Here. You, what, what is it? Aren't there whole YouTube channels dedicated to like... ASMR. Soothing, ASMR? You just need this. Atari ASMR. Atari ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Where all you hear is joystick movements. <laughs> no, this is not working. Like Maybe that. it is joystick. Maybe. Hmm. I just want to do this. Or broken my uh, system by unplugging things. I'm enjoying this a little too much. <laughs> Arena foot says LOL. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, joystick's not working either. No. No. Why isn't it working? I think I've broken it. ASMR. ASMR, All yep. Right. So that's what this, this channel is going to descend into when we start playing games that don't work. <laughs> it's just ASMR. Hi. Hi, buddy. Can I make an appearance today? Hi. Come on. Oh, he blinked at me. Come here. Uh, I think he's been well, he's blinking because he's working, fighting. So you as get an to alternative, be... I'll get my eyes clawed out by this little black and white dude. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh he go, blinked. See, let's he's go happy. Full screen on that. Oh. oh. Look at that. Oh, look oh. at those blinky eyes. Oh, so happy. Are you happy? Hi. Oh, somebody's singing outside. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Crazy so person. that game is not working. Sorry. <laughs> that, oh, it doesn't you work in Stella. Stella. Uh, That's so really weird. Some trouble with it, I guess. Because I didn't read anything in the uh, forum 
thread, even though it was very, very, very sparse, um, about it not working. I would think that he wouldn't release a game that doesn't work at all. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the final game. Oh, there's another one. Okay, yep, good. Which we have played before. Okay. Um, this is, this is Pong. Ram Pong. Oh, good. By Thomas Jens. Um, so that is. Oh, that is. Can um, the controllers, the uh, paddles, right? Paddle controllers. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a paddle game. Paddles, but I will start it without the paddles because that's how my menu doesn't work without the joystick. So we we're gonna do the one with the nice little menu first because the menu's nice. Oh, oh. Mmm, it's brilliant. That is a brilliant way to keep score. Sure is. Yeah, you didn't play Very this, smart. did you? No, no, I didn't. Darcy was here. Yeah. Oh, too close. Okay, can you move? Yep. Yep, good. Where's the other one? I'm terrible. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh. On the floor? Way over there. Oh, the cat's attacking it. Okay, there we go. We are playing, except nobody can see it. So let's get <laughs> it goes right through the screen. What goes right through the screen? Oh. oh, it just loops around, yes. There's no room for that. There's no room for for detecting the edge of the screen. <laughs> just keeps looping around. Yay! Ah. Yay! Oh, don't close the door. It'll get hot, kittens. I'll just let it keep going. So <laughs> Doing my hard. job for me. It's so hard. <laughs> oh no! Ah! <laughs> You're gonna win. <laughs> oh, so close. <gasps> oh, I won! Yay! Wow. wow, it's very hard to control. E well, it goes really, really fast. And there's no reset on this. Can you press the button? Mm -hmm. No. And I can't do anything, so I have to unplug this. Plug Can the joystick you not in. Pull, pull, hold yours. Oh. oh. There you go. Oh, we're almost getting there. Usually this doesn't work, but oh, it makes it up to the point where I get to the game. Yeah. And I can't start the game. <gasps> no. Yeah. I don't know why mine does this. Like, the button works. I just went through a menu with Why the button. Why don't you switch the controllers? See if that might... No. I've no? I've None tried. of them work? I've tried. No, because it does work. Watch. Press the button. I can get out of it. Press the button. I can get into it. Start the game. No. 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 <laughs> so annoying. Why? <laughs> Why does it do this? It's like almost... Oh, can you open the door again? He He's looking for bugs. No, he's fine. No, no, can you open the door? Me? Yeah, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Turn on the fan. Okay. Let's start it up again. Because the games do last a little bit long, so... Come here. So Atari. It's worth, worth trying. Atari wants to title screen which is probably going to go in way don't press any buttons i'm not pressing anything okay oh it does have a nice title screen now this is not part of the 128k this is the 1k version but once you start the game it is 128k mm. can you go back and forth no no nothing i think it's game select no 
it's nothing. Okay. Oh no, it's just one player. Select key should move the harmony menu. It sh it does. The reset does not oh, select. There's something there. wrong. Oh, you are. I was just right off the screen. Oh my god. Okay. Have to do it all over again. <laughs> For some reason, my select does not start a game. It does go into the menu, but it just doesn't start the game. I don't know whether that's because I'm using um, a Genesis controller or what, but it's really annoying. But actually it shouldn't matter because I should be able to unplug the Genesis controller. Mine's not even on the screen. Oh, there it is, finally. Okay. Oh. Too late, you've lost. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Unless you wanna <laughs> play with the joystick. You Can can't. you play? No. Oh, really? No. That's not good. These games, they needed a reset. <laughs> Why don't they play like combat? Combat's so good. <laughs> uh -huh. This is a title screen, but did you accidentally press the button on the title screen or? Me? Yeah, because no? it went past the title screen and just started playing. I don't know. Maybe I did. Okay, so do not press the button. It won't touch it. So otherwise I have to do it all over again. Okay. Put the pong, start up the pong, unplug the joysticks, plug in the paddles, <laughs> sit down, and play. And try and have a decent volley. There we go. Just keep them at the top. <laughs> <laughs> so we can talk huh. about it? Yeah. But I do have to investigate my 2600, why it doesn't start the game. The menus will work completely, but if I want to start the game, it just doesn't want to do that. Okay, ready? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's, it's easy to sabotage yourself. It is. You have to be out of the way of, of the ball. Ah! Ah! It starts going really fast, and then it's impossible. Oh, you can get out of the way. Ah! So that's the best tactic. Just stay out of the way until <laughs> you hit it back. Oh, it's almost over. So you hit it. I'm going to get it back so no, we don't okay. end the game. It's okay. <laughs> Genesis controller appears... Ah. No, hit so, it back. So sabotage. Hit it back. <laughs> Go right to the bottom. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> so, hit it back. So hit it back. Sabotage. Go right to the bottom. No, no hit it. Get off. There you go. Genesis controller appears to, <laughs> to harmony as a paddle if the B button hasn't held down on power. Yes, that is correct. Okay, now I can go back. And, oh no. And dead. <laughs> okay, All that's right. enough of that. That is, that is. <laughs> oh. So that <sighs> was a fun round of games. Some of them, some of them didn't work, unfortunately, with the setup because um, they start immediately, mm. and if you aren't ready and your system isn't like perfect and booted up and all your screens are ready and calibrated, you're dead instantly. Yeah. Um, so some of them didn't quite work out, unfortunately, for the game, for the, for the show, like, um, the helicopter and racer. Racer worked a little bit better, but the deaths, oh, vicious, <laughs> the deaths that you just die immediately and you have to reset and start it all over again is mm -hmm. a pain in the butt. A lot easier on on Stella on a computer because you could just press escape enter and you're mm -hmm. started again but when you're using a harmony cartridge 
you have to go through the menu, find the game, and go through all that, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, he's angry. Mad, mad cat. <laughs> Don't pick me up. No, I was squishing him. Um, him in one place. I think um, combat. Oh, by far the best. Is that was a lot the most of fun. enjoyable one. And and you 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 um. Uh, you, you run out of endurance before you kind of lose the game. So yeah. it has this this play. It just keeps playing. And and you don't need to reset it, yeah. which is the best part. You yeah. can self-reset. Um, the Pong one, sh if they change it ju just a little bit, could have its own self-reset. It's like, no, it just stays to the side and mm -hmm. keeps going. And, and then if you hit it, it'll just keep going back like, like combat where you can bring it back to center again mm. if you wanted to. Mm. Or just stay out of the way and, and you've won. Yeah. Um, so a tiny little alteration um, to Pong would be good. Yeah. Either have a reset button or change to that. Yeah, and I suppose to, uh, sorry, outside of that, um, or sorry, Arena Foot has said the ball could be slowed down a bit for that one too. And I think that's true because once it starts <laughs> bouncing uncontrollably, yeah. it starts getting really fast. You can intervene, yeah, but it kind of gets out of control because it's looping around the screen. It gets so. very, very yeah. fast. Yeah. But I think Pong would be my second Yeah, Pong's choice. pretty good. Yeah. And I think mostly because it's a two-player game and it's action. Yeah. Um, if it had some sort of reset, that would elevate it a lot higher. Yeah. I'm a little sad that the tic-tac-toe and the sliding puzzle didn't work out properly. No, they didn't seem to work at all. Tic-tac-toe kind of worked, mostly. Yeah. Except bit. <laughs> some some of the mapping of the yeah. button inputs was was wrong. Yeah, not quite you, correct. you could fill in all the squares, but... And it had a reset, which gives it a bonus point. Mm -hmm. Sliding puddle, puzzle doesn't work at all. Arena Foot says it doesn't even work in Stella. In Stella, so yeah. So that might be because it was made a long time ago and Stella has changed. Maybe. And it wasn't tested on real hardware. Maybe. Maybe. Or, you know, who knows where the conflict comes in because obviously the guy played it mm. at some point. He didn't go, it should work. I don't need to test this out. Yeah. Mm. Um, Defender, very hectic and crazy and instant death. Very hard to play. Mm -hmm. Almost impossible. <laughs> a defender's hard to play mm -hmm. in general. Um, and the racer, super hard to play. Like really, really hard. If it had a reset, if all these had resets, it would be a lot you better. You could just reset, keep playing, reset, And practice keep a bit more. But but, but as it was, it was like, and dead. And rigmarole <laughs> of reloading. Defender was the same. And yeah. yeah just your, it's like auto, auto death. Yeah. And I think helicopter would be good as well because I did play that for a while. On yeah, the you'd have to. You, I mean, it getting it reset. started, it's the reset. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but these aren't meant to be like, oh, these are amazing, no. complete, no. perfect games. Yeah. These are more like proof of concept. It's a challenge to yeah. even get it working. Yeah. And uh, it just reminds me of like the demo scene as well. Some people. Um, challenge themselves to make graphics within a certain confinement of 1k or, mm. and there's also 1k games as well like it's you get a lot more room than 128 bytes but mm. not much more room um but yeah just the concept of being able to keep a game just in the memory the limited memory of a 2600 is is pretty unbelievable in itself yeah and especially having a game like combat where you can fully play a game and it's fun and be it's fun. actually fun like the, yeah. it's, it's was simple a... but it's fun so that yeah it's a pretty good game yeah so yeah, I, I quite like that one actually good job wiki yeah. columbus i tried yeah. to message uh him saying that we're going to play the game today but mm. he has messaging disabled in the forum all right but uh <laughs> v-dub bobby i let uh, them know and zach and thomas yentz knew that i was going to play it okay and we already played pong on the on the show yes. yeah, before yeah. as well yeah um yeah so that's it for the show a little bit short today but uh short games short show yeah short <laughs> even game. though we had what short six eight 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 games some of them eight didn't games. work so yeah combat arena foot agrees combat had yes. the most playability yeah for sure to, for the game and it was quite fun and it, and you oh, yeah. you get on a roll and you keep playing so yeah i thought it was uh it was pretty good 
So uh, let's see what is next uh, for the show. Let me just get this up. Oh, next Wednesday is Draconian. Going for the high score in okay. Draconian. Um, because this month on the homebrew tournament is Draconian. So that should be a lot of fun. I do love that game. Yeah. And um, so we can go play back and forth and try and get a good score for that. Just like we did for AVCS Tech. Remember that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a much more challenging. Mm -hmm. These will be longer games. Yes. Um, for sure. Um, so we'll see what uh, strategies come out of that. <laughs> see what... Uh, and then um, there's a work in progress uh, show on the Friday of that week. Um, so far I have Quantum Tunnel, uh, which we did play briefly on the Retro on seven, uh, 77, but mm. I want to give it a fair shot because okay. it wasn't working. It was like super flickery and hard to yeah. look at okay. just because of the video output on the Retron. Yeah. So I want to play that properly. Okay. Um, we have a Satan's Hollow 2600, which is a favorite of mine on the C64. It's more of an early, early work in progress, okay. but should be fun. Uh, Palomino, which I totally forget what that's about because it has a very strange name. Um, and Robot, a Robo Ninja Climb, which Robo is a brand Ninja new game. Robo Ninja Climb, okay. It's, it's kind of like Wall Drum Ninja and mm -hmm. was inspired a little bit like that from that, but it was derived from an NES game. So there's already a game out called Robo Ninja Climb, and this is a port of that game. And I still need to add one more game to that um, by the time we get there. So still one more slot okay. left for the work in progress uh, update. Mm -hmm. uh, three new homebrew games, work in progress, popped up in the last two days too. Oh, mm -hmm. excellent. excellent. That's probably Your one of them. Good. So I will have to check out the other ones because I haven't checked out the, the homebrew uh Forum in a couple days. Ooh, Walter White Madness. I'm, white I'm, water. White oh, water. Walter, Walter White. Walter White. Yeah. That would white be interesting. Water madness. <laughs> white water madness. Uh, Draco, which I haven't heard of either. Mm -hmm. I have heard of Cat Attack. Yeah. Um, but we don't really play hacks on this show, so because they're derivatives of other games that already exist on the atari yeah oh, usually I see. usually have original games released in the yeah. 70s 80s 70s 80s 90s so it's like you change the graphics mm, okay they're fun to look at new graphics and re they're like reskinned games gotcha but mostly the gameplay does not change, does not change. at okay. all it's just like oh here's a new graphic hmm. and it's the same game if it's something clever or cute i'm i'm all for that like eh. i like um Omeba, Omeba Jump, was it? Uh, Omeba, Omeba Jump? Jump? That's, but that's programmed from scratch. Yes. These are not but programmed from scratch. But the different versions coming up with different oh, different skins is not necessarily cool. uncreative or, in, or, or uninteresting. No. So if it's something cute mm. or something really, really mm. creative in, in concept, no? No. Oh, you're a snob. They're banned. What a snob. Hacks are banned. <laughs> not, from, not for this show. I like, I like people who program it from scratch. <laughs> Yeah. No, I get like, that. Like, come up with their that. own games. I get that, yeah. Like, they could be ports, but just changing a graphic is not, is doesn't impress like me. Like I said, if it's cute or funny, I'm yeah. all for that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, creative, and, uh, creative hacks. And coming up eventually is a new Champ Games game that has not been released yet. So I'm still looking forward to that. Still probably a couple weeks to go mm -hmm. um, for him to be releasing that. So that's going to be exciting as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a two-player game co-op. So that'll be fun. Not many co-op games. No. For the 2600. No, I wouldn't think so. Where you're teaming up. Yeah. I can't, I can't actually think of <laughs> very many except mm -hmm. for this one. Um, so that is it for this week. Mm -hmm. And we will be back. On Wednesday, unless something of magic comes up in the middle of the week, and then we'll slip in a show. Mm -hmm. um, so what time uh, Wednesday? 7 p.m. next Wednesday, most likely. Okay. Um, unless Erlin is available, then we might change it to earlier. Okay. But we'll see. So, But right now it's 7 p.m., and he's usually fine with 7 p.m. as well. Okay. That gives enough time for dinner. 
to eat dinner beforehand. <laughs> eating is eating, eating is, is very is good. very yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. And staying hydrated. Yeah, the 7 p.m. time slot is basically because I have to get home from work. So. Yeah. Home from work, <laughs> dinner. Dinner. Just enough time. Then, then video games. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you everybody for uh, hanging out and for chatting. Uh, Arena Foot, Ice Bosta, uh, Ground Trooper. We're talking this week. And uh, yeah. everybody else is out partying on a Friday night. It is a Friday night. We're just. Uh, and they are RAM games. They're very simple. Yeah, so I get, very simple. I get the maybe somewhat cool lack of attention, but. Yeah. Um, no, they were fun to play, and I really like combat. Yes. Like I said, I think, oh, yeah. I think all. I would play that game again. All conflicts could be resolved <laughs> with combat. With a you simple know? game One of on combat. each side. The first person to disappear loses, and um, yeah. that's pretty much it. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. So, bye bye. Have a good night. And see you next Wednesday. Have a good weekend. Remember to subscribe and watch this on YouTube after, and mm. go to all, all the, the fun stuff. All the stuff. <laughs> the Instagrams and the Facebook, so yeah. you can keep up to date on what's coming up. So, oh, also, if you missed it, there is an unboxing video that I posted yesterday mm. on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that, head over to Zero Page Homebrew YouTube channel and watch me babble on and open things in boxes. <laughs> so we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye. Yeah.